Today we are still in the journey of doing everything we can to make sure hopelessness does not set in in your heart or spirit. Like we have said in a previous recording, a hopeless man is a very dangerous person. A hopeless man or a hopeless woman is not only dangerous for themselves, but dangerous to those around them. And therefore, whatever you have to do, you must keep hope alive. David in his lighting, in the book of Psalms said, Why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God. And today, I want to say, don't be disquieted within you. Cause your hope to arise. I call your hope back. Regardless of the circumstances that surround you, whatever is speaking against you to the negative, telling you it's not possible, things are going to be from bad to worse, refuse to accept that. And choose to believe what God's promises are. Why? Because God is the one who holds your future. Your future is not in the hand of any institution. Your future is in the hands of God. And God is the one who has given a promise that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Can you hold that family and, 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 and tell yourself, speak to yourself, go to the mirror and talk to yourself. Say, hey, you know, if it's me, I can, tell, I can talk to myself and say, you know, Pastor Juguna, please don't give up regardless of all that is happening around you. You're going to have to hold firm to the faith. Holding fast to the faith is what is going to keep you and keep me in these perilous times. When we think about what is happening in the world, it is very easy for somebody to say, what a miserable state I find myself in. When we get reports of what is happening in Europe, what is happening in America, countries that have always been held as even some people selling everything, wanting to go and live there, and you hear the condition they are going through. We stayed months when you could not go anywhere. Our L prints were grounded. But now, thank God, they are back in the, in the air. Can we hope for a better day every day? Can we do whatever we can to ensure that this COVID is defeated through our prayer, through our whatever we need to adhere to? But above all, reject with everything that is within us and in prayer and in humility to before God, that there will be no new wave to complicate things in this country. That our children, our, 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 our candidates will be given hope of doing an exa their exams early next year because they are going back to school before the end of the year. Can, can we talk the language of hope to the people? Can we pray that any wicked person any person who can give a, a president wrong counsel will be displaced so that he can get, because the Bible, it's a Bible that says, keep the wicked from before the king and his throne will be established in righteousness. It's very important that the, those who counsel with him are people who fear God, who honor God, who hear from God. That is what my prayer is for you. As we talk about keeping hope alive, let us pray for this country. Let's pray for this country. That this country does not descend into division created by the premature campaigns that have begun in earnest. Let's believe God that this country will recover from the ashes of economic depravity to where we can start seeing things that are going to bring back the economy back. Let's pray that that. Uh, orchestrators and those given to corruption will be apprehended. That's, that's, these are all things that we can hope for and they are good for the future of the country. I pray that today you will have something 
to harness your hope, to restore your hope, to look for a better day. Father, thank you for the things you continue to speak to us. We bless you. We honor you for your faithfulness. And we pray that you remember Kenya. Remember the people of this country. Remember men and women around the world. Our faith looks up to you. Thank you for helping us so far. And we hope for your blessing to continue to abound in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.